how to do Bhattakonasana? Are you the person still struggling to do butterfly exercise? Yes, you have clicked the right video to learn the exercises. This is Sarnia Jyoti Kumar. Welcome to my channel. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial to learn how to do Bhattakonasana or in simple term butterfly exercise or cobbler pose. This asana is very useful for the dancers but not only for the dancers, those who are involved in sports or any kind of physical activities. It improves flexibility in your hip and inner thighs and also increases the elasticity and strength on your spinal trunk. It also helps to reduce the muscle stiffness, mild depression, anxiety and fatigue. Ok guys, without any further delay, just jump into the video. Keep your spine straight in long leg sitting position. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Now fold your legs one after another. Both sole of the foot are in contact with each other. Move your knees up and down gently. If you feel any discomfort, place a blanket under the legs or sit in a cushion. This asana helps to improve your Aramandi posture in Bharatanatyam. If you do it regularly, definitely you will see the changes in your dance. As you move your knees up and down, slowly and steadily, increase the speed. While you are doing this movement, try the entire side of your both legs, contact the floor. Now we are moving to the next step. Place your right hand on the right knee and gently press it down to make the stretch more effective and keep doing the movement 10 to 30 counts depending on your flexibility. Repeat the same on the left side. Now move your feet away from your hip and keep doing the movements with both hands. Pull your feet back to the baseline and repeat the same movements. Now we are moving to the next step. Place your left hand on the top of the knee joint and right hand at the back. Slowly turn your body to look back over your shoulder. Stay there for 5 counts. Repeat the same movement on the left side as well.
baseline position lengthen your spine and neck bend your body half way down and go back to straight repeat this 5 to 10 times now in the forward bending do rocking motion to bend further to reach the floor with your forehead for beginners it's quite hard to reach the floor but with regular practice you can make it now turn your foot laterally on either side it will help to bring your legs more close to the ground now repeat the same movement For advanced practitioners, instead of forehead, you can place your chin on the floor. This is more intensive to stretch the joints. Now we are moving to the next step. Stretch your hand sideways to keep your elbow over the knee, press down and do the forward bending. In same position, place your palms on the legs and press your legs gently down. Now try to stretch your hands forward on the floor. Stay there for 5 to 10 counts. Do it again depending on your flexibility. Now we almost done this asana. Now relax your legs in long leg sitting position and wiggle your knees. As we did more forward bending moves, we need to counterbalance it with the supported backward bending and stretch. In kneeling position, spine long, place your hands on the hip, open your chest, arch back and lower head. Repeat this 2-3 to three times. Do this regularly to improve your flexibility. If you like this video, please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching the video.